In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use the Amazon Site Stripe to insert affiliate links into your content on your WordPress website. Also gonna be showing you how you can use it to insert product images so that you don't break the Amazon terms and conditions and get in trouble. So, let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. Before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, why not do it right now? There's a button below, it's a red button, it says subscribe, <laughs> give that a click and click the bell and you'll be notified when I upload new videos, which tends to be every single week. But anyway, let's get on with this video. This is a question I get all the time. How do I add products and affiliate links and stuff from Amazon to my website without breaking any terms or getting in trouble, that kind of stuff. Well, the answer is you use the site stripe. So let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I'm over at Beer Shirts, which is one of my affiliate sites that I created in a previous video tutorial. I'll put a link to that video in the description if you wanna go check it out. Uh, but what I'm gonna do just for this example is I'm just gonna create uh, a new blog post and we'll just add some products and some images. So I'm going to do a new post, new post. And it's not actually a real post, it's just um, purely for, uh, for informational purposes only, but we'll do a Star Wars theme again. And uh, let's go for more, because I've already got one Star Wars post or two. More awesome Star Wars beer related things, something like that. So in this tab, I've got Amazon open. Don't worry if my Amazon looks a little bit different to yours. I've got a business account, which is a bit of a pain to be fair. Um, but the thing that should be the same if you're signed up as an Amazon associate um, affiliate person is this link across the top or this, this site stripe across the top, I should say. And this is what we're gonna be using to um, add some stuff to um, our blog post on our website. So if I just do a quick search for Star Wars beer, let's see what we get. Now some of these products I have featured before on the site, but as I say, for this example, um, we'll, we'll go with this. So let's say we wanna add this Star Wars lightsaber bottle opener, which looks pretty amazing, um, to our blog post. Um, the first way we might wanna do it is just by adding a simple text link. So um, if we come up here and click text, we can see uh, it's generated as a link. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got the right tracking ID and store um, selected. If you've got more than one, uh, which I have, so you know it's on the right one there, beer shirts, it's on the right store ID. So if we go back to um, our post, you'd wanna add some text, so it might be something like um, the amazing Star Wars lightsaber. Is that you spelled lightsaber? No, it's ER, isn't it? Um, bottle opener and we could even make that like a you know bold or um, whatever you like if you like you can always switch to the visual editor as well just to make editing text a bit easier it could even be a heading so we want to make this a link so let's go back and let's get our link here I'm just going to highlight it I'm just going to copy that into my clipboard I'm using uh, command C on my Mac it'd be control C on your PC, but you can always right click as well and um, select copy. Then we're gonna go back to um, our blog post and then I'm just gonna highlight um, what I'd like to make a link. I mean, it could just be, and that should be amazing, shouldn't it? Oh, my typing's rubbish. Uh, it could just be a few words like that. So whatever you wanna make uh, clickable, you need to highlight and click on the little chain and then just paste in the link. Now by default, what will happen if someone clicks on that link, it will just open the uh, Amazon in the same window, but you might wanna uh, make it so that it opens it in a, another window or tab, in which case click on the little cog and then tick the box there. Open link in a new tab, which I'd recommend you do, because it means that people don't actually leave your site then. And click update. Let's just click publish. And take a look at that. So that link's got all of the tracking information that we need. Anyone clicks that link, goes through to Amazon and makes a purchase, we will get a commission. So there's our link there, I'll give it a click. Works perfectly. So we've got another couple of options on the site stripe, which I'll go through now. 
The next one here is image. So if you wanted to add a cool image to this uh, blog post, we'll just go back in and click edit post. And just below it, we might wanna add the image. So let's go back to Amazon, click on image, and you decide uh, what size you want. Again, make sure that you've got the right tracking IDs and all that kind of stuff uh, set correctly. Have a nice large image, shall we? Then down here is uh, created some lovely code for you. So again, I'm just gonna make sure all that's highlighted by clicking on it, which it is. And then I'm gonna copy to my clipboard using uh, Command C. Then I'm gonna go back. Now you are gonna to wanna to switch to the text editor for this. It's always best if you're gonna paste code to use the text editor. So I'm just gonna get rid of this, which is a space. I'm just gonna put it straight underneath. So I've just pasted that in. Now this has got everything that it needs, including your tracking uh, information. And it's also the only way that you're allowed to add images to your content. If you kind of right click on the image and save it to your computer, then upload it to your site, you are breaking Amazon's terms and conditions and you might get in trouble. You might even turn off your Amazon account or your Amazon affiliate account at least. So make sure that you always do it this way. And there we go. Now, you you know, you might wanna center that image, which is fine, we can do that. Just go back in. Now we are gonna to wanna to switch to the visual, then we can just highlight that, center. It's all um, in the right place, that's fine. I'll just double checking. <laughs> Let's click update. So yeah, you can just simply click on it and then use your kind of justification tabs there, or buttons, whatever they're called. And there we go, nice centered lightsaber bottle opener. So let's just check that very final uh, option. We've got the text plus image. So what it does, it creates this kind of nice box thing, which again, you can add to your content. It's all Amazon branded and all that kind of stuff. It also includes the price, which will be updated automatically for you. Uh, so I'm just gonna copy the code again. Go back to my post, click edit. And well, let's get rid of the image and let's add it instead. So I'm gonna go back to the text editor and get rid of this. This is a bit of image code that's still left. Let's remove that. So we've just got the, uh, the text left. And then paste it in, click update. Uh, and then view post. So there we go, all done now. I don't know when you're gonna to wanna to use these things. If you've got a theme that supports columns, it might be useful. You could have a little column of um, these widget type things. Uh, but I think generally you're just gonna use the image and the text, it gives you a lot more flexibility. Um, but obviously it's entirely up to you and now you know how to do it. So we're all done. So that's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And if you did like it, click the like button. That really does help me out. If you're not already subscribed, then please click on the little eagle up there and click the bell to be notified when I upload. Here is a video is chosen specially for you. So I hope you enjoy it. And up there is my vlog channel. Go take a look. Until next time, bye for now.